Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound HgBr2. Now we have two different elements here. We have Hg, which is mercury, and we have Br, which is bromine. Now if it's an ionic compound, one has to be a metal and one has to be a nonmetal. Hg, the mercury, is a metal because Hg is down here on the periodic table. And anything in this little box are transitional metals. So we know that mercury is a metal. And bromine, since bromine, Br, is a halogen, the halogens are always a non-metal. So bromine is over here on the periodic table. That's a non-metal. So now let's just get to naming. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So since it was mercury on the periodic table, it's still going to be mercury. Okay. And the, the bromine, right, that's the non-metal. That gets the IDE ending. So it's not going to be bromine anymore. It's going to be bromide. You drop the N-E and you add the D-E for bromide. Now, the next thing that we have to figure out is, do I need a Roman numeral or not? Roman numerals are only used for transitional metals, which is this block right here. Since mercury is a transitional metal, or a transition metal, I do need a Roman numeral. The Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So I have to make sure I find out what the charge of the metal is, but that's pretty easy. What we're going to do is just say how many we have and crisscross them up to find the charges. I had one mercury and two bromines. This one tells me that bromine was a minus one, and this two told me that the mercury was a plus two. Now, just do a little check. Check the nonmetal and see if it's in the right group. Bromine is a negative one, and that's what we want to be. Bromine wants to gain one electron. It's in the negative one oxidation trend. So if this checks out, that means that this charge checks out. So mercury is a two. So I just got to put a two charge in here and call it a day. So HgBr2 is mercury two bromide, and that's it. Hopefully this helped, guys. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out tremendously. We also have physics and math videos at the moment, so you could go check those out if you are in those classes or if your friends are in those classes. We got you guys, all right? We'd love to help you, all right? I'll talk to you later. See you in the next video. Bleh. <laughs> Whatever. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.